Okay, this is the first in a series of videos where I'm going to take you through how to build a course um, using the template. Um, as you can see here, I've got a blank template, nothing in it. And um, uh, you sh should go ahead and plan what's going to be in your course beforehand. Do it in paper, um, uh, chunk your content up into appropriate sections, and uh, um, that will make it easier when it comes to actually structuring and building your Moodle course. I've actually um, taken a, a, a useful tool um, that's been provided through the Participate in eLearning um, uh, Moodle course. That course looks at learning design and um, as part of that um, we have a template which we're given and it guides us through the different stages in learning design. In this case here the uh, Pi Participate in eLearning template um, has uh, directed me to break my content up into the different sections. I looked at um, uh, the Moodle at Swizzy course and um, what I needed to um, communicate, uh, what uh, activities, the things I needed the students to learn, and I structured it into seven sections. So I'm now going to um, go back to my Moodle course and change the settings to give my Moodle course 10 sections. If I scroll down, seven sections, if I scroll down on the left hand side, I click on the administration block settings link. I can come in here and uh, as you can see, I've got seven sections. That's good. Another thing that I've done is um, I've given my uh, course a, a master enrollment key. Um, this course is not available for students at the moment because it's under development. I've, uh, having a master enrollment key means when I do make it available to students, uh, they won't be able to uh, automatically enroll. Um, I'll have a, an enrollment key for students, but this one just means that the course is not open for anybody to come in and have a look. Uh, the other thing I'll draw your attention to is down here, the middle of Swizzy is for teachers. So rather than calling students, I put in the word participant, um, which means that uh, um, Anywhere where Moodle would normally reference a student, the word participant will come up. If I go back to uh, um, my uh, learning design um, template from Pi, I'm going to copy these sections here because I now want to copy, paste the headings into my Moodle. Um, I'm not going to paste them directly from Word. I'm going to open up Start, go to All Programs, and if I go to accessories, there's a program called Notepad. I use this here because it gets rid of um, the formatting from Word. Word can sometimes bring across um, some strange looking text into Moodle. Notepad strips all of that out. So I'll just copy the first section, getting started. And uh, the magical turn editing on button. It's going to give me access to the text editor. So my first section here, I want to put in as a heading. So I go edit summary and pasting from notepad, I'm just going to go control V and that pastes in my first title getting started. See if it changes. And I'll repeat the process for each one of the um, sections. As I do that, notice here that um, Moodle takes the headings and makes them links within this navigation menu on the right automatically, so that's quite nice. So I would go ahead and do the rest of that, but to wrap this here instructional video up, what I'll do is I'll edit the outline of the course and um, I'll just replace insert course or unit name with the name of my Moodle course, which is Moodle at 
exposée. So that's how um, simple it is to go ahead and um, uh, structure your content and edit your settings in Moodle. Um, so I'd like you to go and do that now. And um, then when you're done, I'll watch the next video. Thank you.